Hey guys, my name is Ife and I build Elementor websites. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can customize the pagination on Elementor. So quickly, for this tutorial, I'm using the carousel. So you, you see this pagination on all slider based um, elements on Elementor. So in order to get it to look the way we want, that's the active one here. You have to go to the advanced tab of the specific slider you're using. So if it's a carousel, look carousel, this is going to work for every single one of them. So you go down to advanced, go to advanced, scroll down to custom CSS and the, the selector to get the active, that's this current one here, to get the active um, pagination bullets here is this dot swiper pagination bullet active. So I'm going to make sure that I leave this CSS code and just check the description and you see it. Um, before we start writing any CSS rules, you just type in selector in front of it. The reason why you have to add selector is so that this only affects this specific slider. If you don't add selector, it's going to affect all the sliders on your, your Elementor site. So, so, sorry, on this current page that this element is in. So once we have that in, first thing we want to do is increase the width. So let's get the way let's get away to 50 pixels and see so as you can see it's stretched out and get the radius the border radius to let's say zero pixel first so you see square uh, let's increase this to four five six seven all right eight i think it should do so now it looks exactly where we want it to if it's active it's gonna have this appearance so let's see, because uh, I'm working on with, on this with the design. So this is how it looks here. So as you can see, it's way smaller than what we have here. So in order to do that, you don't need CSS for that. I'm just going to use the size thing here and get the size right. So according to my design, I also need to get this to be white. So each of these should be white as well. And we can easily do that as well. Um, I'm just going to inspect so that I can get the selector use the inspector to find this and it is swipe pagination bullet. So I'm going to copy this, we'll go back to CSS and so we can write the a, a cost CSS for this as well. So remember selector first, so it doesn't affect everything outside and we paste in the class. So let's try color first, if color would work, change this to white. So color didn't work, so it's definitely going to be background color. If this doesn't work let's add an important in front and see if it overrides okay it didn't as well so definitely i'm going to check with i think it's already white there's definitely something else going on and color which this is one we added yeah it's supposed to be white i guess there's something else making it fade out i'm going to find out quickly okay opacity so opacity is the reason why it's not working so we don't even need to add importance here anymore um here we don't even need any of this actually we just need to set opacity to one and okay one and it should work so the issue was opacity it was never even about the color so whatever color you set here um the non-active bullets that's the non-active dots they are set to opacity 0.2 so if you just change that if you don't remove that opacity it's it's using this color but it's going to appear, appear faint so now it works and looks exactly the way it is on figma so yeah i hope you found this video useful of making more of these and if you would like to work on a project together just check the description and you should see a link with that said i'll see you guys in the next video